Christine Baumgartner has opened up about her mixed feelings watching Kevin Costner dive back into the dating pool just three months after they finalized their divorce. But keep watching to find out exactly what he said. She has admittedly had a tough time seeing him move on so quickly, but there is a silver lining. Christine's relieved that Kevin's new love interest isn't just after fame. She shared with friends that despite the quick transition of being a bit of a shock, the public affection that Kevin's showing his new girlfriend didn't sit well with her. However, she can't help but acknowledge that Jewel, the woman Kevin's now dating, is genuinely down to earth. Christine's actually pretty happy that Jewel isn't the type to chase the spotlight. Friends close to Christine spilled the beans saying she's trying to look on the bright side. It's not easy for her to watch Kevin with someone new, but understanding that Jewel is different makes it a bit easier. She never pictured Kevin and Jewel together, but now that it's happening, she gets it. They share a love for music and the cowboy lifestyle, which seems to make them a good match. Plus, Jewel is not looking for a free ride. She has got her own thing going, which Christine respects. Jewel, known for her singing and songwriting career, has been in the spotlight for years. At 49, she has navigated the ups and downs of fame, including a marriage to cowboy Ty Murray, with whom she has a 12-year-old son, Case. Despite their split in 2014, they have kept things amicable. Christine sees Jewel's independence and past as signs that she is a good fit for Kevin. And while it is bittersweet, she's coming around to the idea of them being together. Jewel shared with People Magazine about the tough road she traveled through her divorce with Ty Murray. She admitted that it was a challenging time, not something she had wanted. What pushed her towards making that hard decision was a moment of self-reflection inspired by her child. She realized she wasn't the person she wanted her child to look up to, which led her to initiate changes in her life. Shortly after her split from Murray, Jewel found companionship in Charlie Whitehurst, a former NFL player, although their relationship ended in 2017. Kevin Costner, too, is navigating the aftermath of a difficult divorce. Before he and Christine Baumgartner tied the knot in 2004 at his Aspen ranch, they agreed to a prenuptial agreement. However, their divorce proceedings were anything but smooth. In a statement, Costner's rep said it is with great sadness that circumstances beyond his control have transpired, which have resulted in Mr. Costner having to participate in a dissolution of marriage action. But so his participation commenced. About a month into their separation, an issue arose concerning the Carpentaria, California home where Christine Baumgartner was expected to move out. This expectation was based on their prenuptial agreement, as Kevin Costner's legal team pointed out in a court filing on June 9th, which NBC News managed to obtain. The document highlighted that Baumgartner hadn't left the 1.4-acre oceanfront property within the 30 days specified by their prenup. Costner had purchased the home back in 1988, well before the couple got together. Upon their marriage, Costner had paid Baumgartner $100,000 and another $100,000 on their first anniversary, fulfilling the agreement's terms. Additionally, Baumgartner was entitled to $1 million following the divorce filing. The prenup also specified a $200,000 deposit for Baumgartner to secure a new home, alongside funds to cover property taxes and homeowners insurance for a year. On top of these provisions, Baumgartner was to receive $30,000 a month in child support, with Costner offering extra funds for moving expenses and an additional $38,000 per month over the agreed child support amount. The filing highlighted Costner's efforts to ensure the post-divorce transition was smooth, asserting that he had acted in good faith throughout the process. Costner, having experienced the discomfort of losing access to his home during his first divorce, emphasized the importance of maintaining his residences as separate property to ensure he always had a place to return to. This was a point he made clear to Baumgartner before they married, a sentiment she understood and agreed to at the time. However, Baumgartner's lawyer, John Rydell, contested Costner's request for her to vacate the family home, arguing that the legal basis for such a demand was nearly non-existent. Rydell criticized the move as an attempt to displace Baumgartner and the couple's three children from their lifelong home. Amid these tensions, Baumgartner sought a significant increase in child support, requesting $248,000 per month to maintain the exceptionally high standard of living the children were accustomed to. 
This request came after a forensic accountant determined Costner's monthly income exceeded $1.5 million. Baumgartner emphasized the privilege of their lifestyle in her legal declaration, stressing the importance of providing not only a comfortable home for their children, but also instilling in them family values and gratitude. Having been a stay-at-home mom since the birth of their eldest child, Caden, in 2007, Baumgartner pointed out that their lifestyle was in line with Kevin Costner's significant income. She expressed her main goal was to ensure the children continue to thrive and experience a lifestyle when with her that's comparable to what they enjoy with their father. Despite she requested $248,000 per month in child support seeming high, her lawyers argued that it was justified under California law given the family's circumstances and Costner's income level. Baumgartner also mentioned she had not used any of the funds provided by Costner as per their prenuptial agreement, suggesting Costner might argue she waived her right to challenge the agreement by using those funds. She stated having only $50,000 in the bank and no other sources of income or assets. In response, Costner's legal team criticized the child support request as excessive and lacking substantiation. They argued that providing for the child's needs didn't equate to affording them or Baumgartner an extravagant lifestyle. The filing specifically contested Baumgartner's allocation of 60% of certain expenses, including a private trainer, unspecified credit card charges, and her plastic surgery costs to the children, noting these were personal expenses not related to the children's needs. They highlighted Baumgartner's significant personal spending on items and activities unrelated to the children, such as clothing, jewelry, spa treatments, and gifts. Contrary to the $1.5 million monthly income, Baumgartner's forensic accountant reported a June 20th court filing by Costner's team claimed his gross cash flow available for support was actually $123,620. They described his income from Yellowstone as an anomaly, noting that without the show, his monthly cash flow would be $468,136. Despite this, Costner was willing to offer $51,940 per month for child support, including full coverage for the children's health insurance, private school tuition for Grace, extracurricular activities, hunting club fees, and Cadence car expenses. Baumgartner's team, however, found this amount insufficient, countering with a demand for $217,300. The court temporarily set the child support at $129,755 per month in July. Amid these financial negotiations, personal grievances also surfaced. Baumgartner accused Costner of insensitively announcing their divorce to their children via Zoom, a move that she found confusing and hurtful given its brevity and his absence. She also criticized Costner for publicly attacking her, which she believed was aimed at pressuring her to leave their home without a temporary child support order in place. Costner responded by accusing Baumgartner of attempting to tarnish his reputation and create media fodder, potentially impacting their children. He explained his decision to announce the divorce via video chat, emphasizing the desire to avoid conflict and misunderstanding about their living arrangements. Ultimately, Baumgartner was ordered to vacate their Carpentaria home by July 31st, having secured a lease for $40,000 a month at another residence. This move, supported financially by her brother and a family friend, underscored the contentious nature of their separation and the financial and emotional complexities involved. Costner and Baumgartner successfully reached a settlement in their divorce proceedings, which had become increasingly contentious over the summer months. The couple announced through a joint statement that they had found an amicable and mutually agreed-upon resolution to all matters related to their separation. As part of the settlement, a judge has mandated that Costner pay $63,000 per month in child support for their three teenage children. And that is a wrap, and we will see you in the next video.